hello and welcome back to my channel i am so excited today because i'm going to be unboxing something that i wanted for quite a while now so i don't know if you guys remember but ages ago i made a video basically listing out all the designer bags i would get if someone dashed 20k at me and forced me to spend all in bags and this bag was part of that list it's the balenciaga hourglass bag but funny story i actually bought two because i didn't know what color i wanted so i'm actually going to be unboxing the color i didn't end up keeping just so you guys can see like what to expect if you did order from my Teresa which is where I got it from but then I will show you the one I'm actually going to keep so if I open this up it comes in just this very basic plain cardboard box inside again you know there's nothing that exciting going on the bag is just kind of just plops in there like that it comes in this dust bag and let me just open it up for you so this is actually the one that I'm not keeping let me put this down but the reason I'm not keeping this one is purely because I prefer gold detailing so this is my one I'm actually keeping so for me I wear a lot more gold so that's just more my vibe and I think like gold just looks more expensive to me than silver and this gold is not like a yellow ugly gold it's like a nice bronzy gold it's absolutely gorgeous so this is the extra small Balenciaga hourglass bag with gold detailing and it has croc leather in white if i open it up it's got a magnetic clasp that's really strong so i love that because your items feel secure in there it's a very strong clasp and it doesn't feel well i'm gonna say it doesn't feel cheap but duh it's not cheap but it feels like yeah i've got my money's worth there and then inside it doesn't really open that well so you can't really get like a good view inside but there is nothing in there it's just literally am i correct in saying that yeah there's no pockets in there or anything that's just it i just absolutely love that curved bottom that is what sold it to me and this top handle i just love like a top handle bag and then it also comes with a strap which is great because it just makes the bag a lot more versatile this can be like your little evening bag maybe you're just going out you're in a cute little dress and then if you want you can put your strap on and it becomes like more cute for the day and you can just kind of like wear it around your body like like so and it actually looks really good with this green top i'm wearing right now so with their balenciaga hourglass bag it comes in so many different variations different sizes and different textures of leather so they have an evening version of the bag which doesn't have a top handle it just has like a gold chain which I think can be long enough to cross your body with and then they also have this soft version and it's got like a belt buckle so you know you can wear it on the shoulder you can cross body it you can get either just a smooth leather, you can get grained leather, which is also quite nice to be honest. And I was kind of debating between grained leather and this, which is croc leather, but I ended up getting croc leather in the end. I just feel like croc leather looks a lot more expensive. It looks more luxurious. Basically, of course I'm biased. I think I bought the best size, style and variation. For me, everything's like a personal preference, but I think this is the best way to buy this bag. The reason I ended up choosing a white bag is because I have been limiting myself in buying like designer bags. I really have. And because I'm just trying to like probably like slowly emphasis on slowly but slowly build up my bag collection i feel like it's important to have a white and a black bag you just get more wears out of it i feel like it'll go with most of my outfits whereas if i've got a pop of color i may struggle to wear it all the time but in saying that i probably could have got away with a pop of color even if i bought like a pink one a pink one would look really good with this green top so i don't know i was just in two minds i just felt like the safest option was to go with a white one so now i just want to do like a little what can you fit in this bag because i feel like when you are trying to buy a bag it's hard to know what can I actually fit in that bag especially when you're buying it online in terms of me when I go out I have two phones and I normally like to take both phones don't ask why I'm just I just do and maybe like a lip gloss I like to take my um, my cards my ID and my car keys and I think that's about it so let me just go ahead and try and see if I can fit all of that in so this is my first phone this is a Galaxy Note 8 I think it's like over six inches no, it only fits at an angle like that, which is not the ideal. So let me see if I can take the case off. Maybe that may help. So it does fit without the case. Quite snugly at the back there. Then this is my second phone. This is the iPhone 8. You can tell I need to upgrade my phones too. <laughs> um, so both phones are in there. Yep, it can still close. Oh, actually I normally travel with this and that's quite chunky. So let me go and put that in. I'm also gonna try and put in a lip gloss. That fits. My Laneige lip balm. This literally goes everywhere with me. It's the best thing in the world. You don't even really need like a shiny lip gloss or a clear lip gloss with this. And your lips just stay hydrated and soft. So I take this everywhere with me. And that fits in. Yep, did you hear that snap? So it still closes very nicely, very snug. That's got my Laneige two phones and a lip gloss in there. And then now I have my keys. So I'm gonna chuck my keys in. Does that close? 
quite nicely. So it's pretty spacious, even though it is really, really small. Realistically, I'm not gonna fit my whole purse in there. I don't really ever travel with this anyway. It's just like a really old coach purse. I normally just take my cards out. So the only two things I'd really travel with is my ID and a bank card. And I believe that's all you really need. Like, what else do you need? So that's all in there quite nicely. It feels very sturdy, although like it's quite heavy, like with my two phones in there. I don't feel like my bag is like overcompensating for it. It doesn't feel like this handle is gonna like rip or anything. It feels very, very sturdy. And it all fit in there, which is great. So I think this is a really good size. It's perfect size. You can still fit all your things in there. The bag hasn't really lost its shape. It's still, like it bends in there, right? You see it. But because my phones are quite big, it's like pushing out on this side slightly, um, but it's not that deep. Do I recommend buying it? Hell yes. I think this goes with so many things and I can't wait to start like styling like outfits with it. I've got like a haul coming up soon and this will definitely be featured in there. So definitely do hit that subscribe button if you want to see me style this bag in my next haul and you know some other things I may be doing. And yeah, if anybody else is thinking about getting it, Hopefully this has been the video to let you know you should. Thank you guys so much for watching and I shall see you all in my next video.